We're here at Alliance RV with one of the co-founders, Ryan. Yeah. And um, well, we don't really know much about Alliance. Sure. It's yeah. a pretty new company. <laughs> yeah, it uh, is. Innovative in the fifth wheel industry. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about like, well, first of all, why? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys coming through and, yeah. and checking us out. And uh, yeah, so Alliance RV, like you said, is new. We were founded um, spring of 2019. So we're coming up on just about two years here. Okay. Uh, we started manufacturing our RVs um, in late fall, kind of winter time last year. And so really Tampa last year was our kind of coming out party, sure, our, yeah, our yeah. brand yeah. debut. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's kind of nice coming full circle back here, you yeah. know, really 12 months uh, into, our, uh, into our business. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you know, here on display, we do have 11 uh, floor plans. We have seven of our paradigms, which we're in here now, our luxury fifth wheel. Yeah. And then we have uh, four uh, Valor uh, toy haulers which is uh, just launching here at the show. So cool. uh, you asked the question why. Yeah. Uh, we're all industry veterans. The company was founded by uh, my brother, uh, Coley and I. Okay, cool. uh, we came from Heartland RV and um, we put together a, a really good team of, of other industry veterans. I spent uh, about 10 years over at Heartland Coley, close to 15. Um, and we have a really strong collection of, of individuals on our senior team. We have guys from uh, other manufacturers, you know, Thor divisions and, and uh, you know, divisions of, of Winnebago, and we kind of all got together, and um, you know, we don't try to disrespect our competition. You know, sure, we, we yeah. respect those guys very much, but uh, we like the idea of being uh, independent and, mm -hmm. and kind of yeah. small again. Yeah, uh, and uh, and so we really wanted to you know focus on building product that meets the needs of our viewers. You know, really try to listen to the customers out mm -hmm. there and. and incorporate that feedback into the design of our RVs. And then, um, you know, secondly, we wanted to, you know, be a company that provides a, a really strong ownership experience. Yeah. Uh, we know people buying these big fifth wheels, you know, they're, yeah. they're spending a you know, fair money. amount of money, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, not only do we owe it to them to build up, you know, a high quality product, but we need to service the heck out of those RVs. Yeah. yeah. And so that's really how we, you know, want to separate ourselves relative to the competition is, is providing really good ownership experiences. We know that these are, you know, let's call it what it is, this is a, a rolling yeah. home, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, uh, you know, things can occur, and so if they do, you know, we want to step up and, and make it right. You know, we want to be quick to, uh, yeah. to quick to act, yeah. uh, whether it's a bolt tag or overnight part or, or working with the dealer to make sure that customer is back on the road as quickly yeah. as possible. And, and so it's deal. been uh, it's been yeah. a fun little run and uh, like I said it's fun to be down here again to uh, experience our anniversary. Yeah. So what makes Alliance different slash better yeah. from everybody else? Why should somebody come and say, okay I'm gonna go with Alliance? Yeah, so uh, I mentioned the company was started in the spring of nineteen, but we didn't really start building until you know late fall kind of winter time yeah so that's a six you know to eight month gap there yeah uh and so what we did do during that six to eight months is uh we did create a, a facebook page which I'll, I'll plug it it's alliance rv group it's okay. a, a very active community that we have uh within our group and it's uh you know, a lot of the members of the group are people you know, like you guys that, that full time that have big fifth wheels and uh you know are experienced uh, with these rigs, and yeah. uh, you know, we put out the design really to the group. I mean, a lot of what you see in this RV was, um, you know, not necessarily our ideas, but yeah. our ideas from you know, guys like you, customers, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, customers like you. And so we thought by listening, you know, answers were out there, but yeah. manufacturers, you know, maybe weren't quite listening as much. And so uh, you know, we tried to listen. And so a lot of what we've incorporated into our designs. Is, is the culmination of that work of listening to our viewers, and we continue to listen. Yeah. As we put out new floor plans, we'll put out renderings on yeah. our Facebook page. Very cool. And we let the group kind of pick it apart, like, hey, have you thought about placing the pantry there? Yeah. Or we just came out with this new front living, which if you get a chance, I'm oh, yeah. yeah, check it out. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, a unique uh, floor plan in the industry. That, you know, with that floor plan before, you couldn't access that half bath. And so oh, we yeah. were able to, yeah. we put a first rendering out, which didn't have access to the half bath. And and after, you know, kind of encouragement from the group, uh, our engineer was able to work it in. So you can yeah. flip the bathroom so you can access it with the slides in, you can access the refrigerator with the slides in. And if you look at the other floor plans in the, our segment, 
the half run limit. Yeah. You can't do that. So that's just kind of one example of how we've done it. So uh, a couple features, you know, I, I guess I'll highlight to you guys that was really, you know, kind of crowdsourced from our group. Yeah. Um, on the outside was was around our running. Um, yeah. So we know our customers, you know, they, they pack a lot of stuff into these RVs. Yeah, it right? takes a lot of weight. Yeah. Uh, a lot of RV, a lot of full timers like yourselves, and so we know. Uh, in, in talking to our customers, running gear uh, was a big consideration of ours, and so yeah. we wanted to selectively, strategically choose components of our running gear uh, to make it best in class. So a couple of things I'll, I'll just mention: uh, we have extra axles, or seven thousand pound axles. But what we've done is we have upgraded the springs on those axles. Oh, very nice. So we go with four thousand pound springs, and so yeah. what we heard is. Uh, instances of people having springs going flat. You know, yeah. cargo uh, was creeping up there and, and springs were going flat. So we wanted to, to minimize the chance of that happening. We're running with the uh, Moride CRE suspension. Uh, we've incorporated the, the Moride heavy duty wet bolts and shackles. Yeah. We found a, a little heavier duty tire that's rated, uh, we call it our Super G tire. It's rated awesome. for 4,400 pounds. Uh, little things like looking at the, uh, the axle uh, uh, hangers. Yeah. You'll, you'll notice a V bracket if you, if you get a chance yeah, to look underneath yeah. a V bracket. You know that's a, a loss of four. You know those two weld points. We wanted to reinforce those two weld points with, with yeah. V brackets. Um, so you know combined, you know we, we feel really good about our running gear yeah. uh, system and, and just trying to minimize you know the chance of an issue from yeah. occurring yeah. around that. Uh, one other thing I'll just mention on the outside is we are using Asdale as they'll substrate in our sidewall construction. Okay. okay. And so in our prior lives, the, the conventional uh, construction material was Luwan. And as you guys know, Luwan is a wood substrate. Um, it is, you know, you know expands and contracts in yeah. cold weather and it can absorb water. And so uh, as they'll is a composite material. And so it's considerably less susceptible to a delamination. Yeah. So that's why that's good. Uh, we chose that. We've seen that happen. Yeah, right. we have to uh, the yeah. exactly. Uh, on the roof, we incorporate PVC, uh, a roofing membrane up there. Again, a little you know higher grade construction material, but we, we thought it was the right thing to do. It's uh, yeah. a little more reflective. It doesn't streak the black. Uh, much easier to repair. Uh, here's a 20 year warranty. Uh, on the inside, uh, a couple things I'll just highlight. I'm sure. I know you guys don't have a ton of time, and yeah. you know I love talking about this. Yeah. Like, I could go on yeah. forever, but. Uh, a couple of things I'll just highlight. Just you know, again, by listening to our customers, we eliminate all carpet. You yes. won't find Love a, it. a thread of carpet anywhere uh, in an Alliance RV, and so uh, that was a, a hot uh, feedback yeah. item uh, that we heard. Uh, no carpet. We are wide body, so it's 101 inches wide. Very nice. Uh, Makes it feel a lot more. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, conventional uh, width is 96 inches, so you know, five yeah. inches doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, know what I mean? We're all feel it, right? Uh, <laughs> You'll notice in all our RVs, big windows throughout. Oh, so yeah. in the slide room, uh, oh, yeah. in the rear uh, uh, area here, you know, they had the, uh, I guess we're not moving the camera, behind yeah. the stove, you'll see big, big windows throughout. Yeah. So we wanted it to be nice and bright on a cloudy day. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't have the lights on, it still, we want it to feel nice yeah. and bright here. Yeah, Even the sure. selection of our decor items with our wallboard, ceiling panels, uh, cabinet, uh, uh, door colors, uh, we wanted to brighten it up. Yes. Yeah, we love the exactly. bright colors. Um, we love the storage. Yep. Yes. Uh, another item I'll just highlight the windows. I'm talking about the big windows, but they're actually slider windows. Oh, okay. nice. So uh, we got asked this question you know, early on, you know, why don't you guys have the frameless right. window? Yeah. And so, you know, everything with how we designed it was with an eye towards functionality. Sure. And so doing our, our homework and our research, talking to folks like you, the feedback that we got was, yeah, the, the frameless are nice, they look neat. But from a functionality standpoint, the ability to slide, slide. open these windows was yeah. more appealing. Yeah. Well, that wind, they can pass through a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the seamless, they kind of tilt out. Exactly. And Not air can't really get, get in. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and talking to some of the, the window suppliers, you know, the these are tried and true men around. Uh, you know, from a warranty standpoint, we feel really good yeah. uh, with the selection. I agree. A uh, couple other things on this highlight, we have dimming light switches on the, on the main yes, lights yeah, here in the ceiling, which is a neat little feature that we heard. You know, we try to maximize uh, storage throughout. We have little flip-up end tables yes, here. Yeah, Our that. fireplace pulls that out. Was, Very cool. That was ingenious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the entertainment setup incorporating a shelf. Yeah. Uh, all of our cabinet doors and drawers are, are soft clothes. Yeah, very um, cool. Even the toilet seat, we use a soft oh, clothes really? toilet seat. Yeah, we'll have to get some of that. Yeah, that's awesome. uh, 
Yeah, you know, it's, it's a lot of little things we've done. We, we yeah. incorporate uh, shutoff valves in all of our uh, major plumbing locations. Very cool yes. idea. Yeah, we have a, a residential size oven and mm -hmm. residential size right. showers. Yeah. Um, we always like to mention uh, this was a big item in doing our, our homework and talking to, to folks like you. The step up in the uh, kitchen slides. Yeah. 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 Traditionally, if you go to the, uh, the other brands out there, you kind of have that we toast have over. Yeah. Uh, yes. So we, uh, we actually hired the, uh, we did the top engineer in the industry. Um, he was over at Grand Design. We hired him, great guy, and, and we kind of tasked him with, hey, Eric, if you could figure this out, yeah. it would be a game changer. It, it, oh, yeah. it's, it's a small little item. Yeah, it's it the is. Little thing. The feedback that we've gotten has been, uh, has been great. Yeah, but it does. Uh, it feels like you have more walking space. space. Yep. Because that little lip, Kind of limit you it's just the vision yep, yeah, yep. where things start and stop. Exactly. And so, uh, yeah, so that's just like a couple of the product features that we'll highlight. And then, you know, for us as a leadership group early on, you know, we did, uh, you know, an offsite meeting. We're trying to define the culture, you know, who we want to be as a company, yeah. Alliance RV. Um, you know, we have uh, you know, three core values and a mission statement. Our core values are uh, relentless improvement, which, you know, we're, we're constantly trying to improve, constantly trying to listen. Uh, we're obsessed uh, with, with our customers. Uh, we're devoted to our relationships, so our, our sure. allies who are our product owners, whether yeah. it's the dealer partners, uh, the other team members up in Elkhart. Um, uh, you know, that's kind of really why the name Alliance was chosen. Uh, and then all that sums up to our, our company mission statement, which is do the right thing. Uh, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of a, a generic statement, but if you think about it, with Not everything we do, if, if you look to that guiding principle, it's the everything. right thing, it covers yeah. everything. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, that really uh, comes into play on the service side. Yeah. Uh, we really want to differentiate ourselves in service. You know, I, you know, as one of the owners with, with Coley and the rest of the team, you know, we put our cell phone numbers. Uh, if you get a chance to join our Facebook group, group you'll see how active we are on that. Uh -huh. um, and so we know questions will arise, you know, yeah. issues may occur, and uh, you know, we owe it to these customers to, to respond, respond yeah. timely, communicate, uh, and, and get them back on the road. And awesome. so it's been it's been a great uh, you know first 18 months or so, and we're just excited exactly. about what, what we got going on here, and excited to be on the show. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ryan, yeah. for hanging out with us, talking to us about Alliance RV. Yeah. You guys are putting out some, some great products. We yeah. enjoyed walking through them. We're going to walk through a few more. Yeah. Um, we will drop a link to the Facebook group that Ryan was talking about in the description of this video, along with a link to Alliance RV. Uh, thanks again for yeah. having us out. We appreciate it. Yeah. And we're having such a, a great time at the Tampa show. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to see all the ways that you can help us help veterans, the link and all the information is in the description of this video as well. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.